Canadian bank earnings. You know, we saw the Canadian banks report earnings at the end of at the end of May um, last week. They, it was interesting. A lot of the banks actually reported on the same day. So normally earnings are spread out over you know a bunch of days. Most of the earnings came out, out in two days. Uh, we were expecting weak earnings, and we got weak earnings. So were they disappointing? Well, yes, but that disappointment was expected. And funny story, CIBC, strangely enough, smallest of the top five banks, actually reported the best numbers. They beat expectations. One of the only bank, or the only bank, to beat expectations. And then the day after CIBC reported, an analyst came out and downgraded the stock, if you can believe it. So saying that stock price probably wouldn't move much higher, in fact, could move even lower. So here you have the one bright light out of all the major banks, and it was downgraded shortly after. And there's a chart of CIBC. It's kind of trending a bit to the downside, but probably a little more sideways. Uh, we have charts on all the banks here. Uh, TD Bank, as the next chart, you can see how much TD Bank has fallen off um, as well. It's come back a little bit and then fallen off recently again. Bank of Nova Scotia, next bank, which uh, pays over a 6% dividend yield. TD Bank, almost a 5% dividend yield. CIBC pays about 6% dividend yield. So these banks are, are, are quite powerful in that if you're looking for growth and income, I think these are great investment ideas, even with a slowing economy in Canada. And so why would, did we expect a slowdown in their earnings? Well, we're anticipating a continuous slowdown of the Canadian economy. We're expecting a continual slowdown of the U.S. economy based on higher interest rates, as we've discussed, and higher inflation. So if the economy is slowing down, how can the bloodline of any economy, which are your banks, do well? So we're seeing a slowdown in lending. We're seeing the banks not willing to lend as much as they once were. They're having to keep their money uh, inside or, or, or with them rather than lending it out as much. They are setting aside more money for loan loss reserves, which tells us that the banks foresee a slowdown in the economy. Not as many people uh, borrowing to grow their business. We're seeing trading activities at the banks slightly decline, although BMO had some good capital markets numbers, or at least not bad. Some of the other banks didn't fare as well. So overall, banks are slowing down, and that is being reflected in their share price. Uh, they continue to raise dividends, however. All the major banks raised dividends except for TD Bank, which decided to buy back their own stock, which has a positive effect on their share price if you think that TD is in the market buying back their own share. So banks continue to raise dividends. So obviously they're sitting on a lot of cash and they're able to do that. TD Bank is buying back their own stock. TD Bank in particular has a lot of money because their most recent acquisition of First Horizon, a regional bank in the US, was stopped or did not go through. So they're sitting on a lot of cash. And many people, including myself, are waiting to see what TD will do with all that cash that they have sitting there. Perhaps they'll make another acquisition. So overall, Canadian bank stocks not doing so well this past quarter. I would anticipate another flat quarter to come. And then hopefully, as we get into the second half of this year, these stocks will start to pick up again. But once again, be a contrarian. Buy when those are selling. I think these are great opportunities for individual investors.